whenever I, I feel like I'm not inspired or I'm not being creative enough, I look at the sky and I look at how the light changes there. My name is Corinna Strauf and I am a freelance photographer specializing in editorial, commercial and love stories. So I basically started doing photography since I was living in Mexico. I was 15 years old when I got my first film camera and I just loved the idea of being able to take some photos and develop them and see them going from nothing to something and it just really captured me. I went to school in Canada. I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school, so I took a year out and then applied for a photography course that was very limited. It had only 20 spots and 200 or so applicants. I got into this program that was amazing. It was for a three-year program. Just really loved being able to know the tools that I needed to create photos and how to tell stories, really. One of the things that I love photographing is clouds in the sky. I think that started from when I moved from Mexico to Canada and then from Canada to the UK. I started noticing how the light was very different and how the sky moved very differently. And maybe that's something that I was never aware of before, but I started just noticing the pace of the clouds and the pace of the light changing. And I also had to just learn how to photograph differently in different countries because the light in Mexico obviously was so bright all the time and I never really like looked at the sky before and how that changes um, or how that reflects in, in people's skin and it wasn't until I moved to Birmingham and I lived in this really beautiful flat and the ceiling was a skylight and so every night before going to bed I could see how the clouds moved and I could see the moon just right above me and I encounter God in that flat so much more than I think really ever. When I became a Christian, it just became so clear to me that I wanted to show people who, people, who God had created and the, the kind of people that God creates. And I just fell in love with telling stories, really. I fell in love with the quirks and the uniqueness of people. Before I was a Christian, I just knew I wanted to create things, but I didn't know that I could create things for a purpose or that I could create things to show people's worth or people's beauty. I just wanted to create to create. I guess I can explain it in a way that God really opened my eyes to what I was doing. And I became a lot more detailed in the little things instead of the wider open photos that I was taking before. Um, I love capturing little moments between people, subtle movements of someone, the way that the, the hands move or the way that the light falls in hands. And um, I just remember my, my mom always telling me that you can tell someone's stories by looking at their hands. And that just got really <laughs> stuck in my brain and in my head and, and I guess in my heart because I just started really seeing people's hands. I, I even always told my mom that the first thing that I noticed in a guy was his hands. <laughs> it's never been about making a lot of money or becoming famous or anything, but I want to be able to just show the beauty that God creates. As someone that has experienced a lot of body issues and a lot of self-esteem issues, I just want to be able to, yeah, to photograph women and photograph men even that have problems with that, that they are made in, in God's image. You know, they are created beautiful and perfectly. And I just hope that whenever people see their photo, that they can see that, that they can see their little quirks and the things that they consider flaw and how beautiful they are and how unique it is to them. I see that sometimes in myself. And, and you know, when I take a self-portrait and the things that I sometimes I'm not in love with, but just remembering that it's unique to me and it's um, made me who I am and you know the body that has taken me so many different places and the strength that it carries. I just I think I want to be able to, to portray that in people, the strength that they carry and that that comes from God really.